Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to solve the problems based on the coupled circuit. If you have watched the previous video, in that video, I have tried the expression for equivalent inductance when the mutually coupled inductors are connected in series or when they are connected in parallel. If you haven't watched that, you can check the link for the same video in the description box. We have seen that the equivalent inductance is given as L1 plus L2 plus minus 2M when the mutually coupled inductors are connected in series where this plus sign is for cumulative connection and minus sign is for differential connection. So, this expression is for series connection and when they are connected in parallel then e L equivalent is given as L1 L2 minus M square upon L1 plus L2 minus plus 2M where this minus sign is for cumulative connection and plus sign is for differential connection and this is the expression for parallelly connected mutually coupled inductors. And in the video just before the coupled circuit, we had also discussed the electromagnetic induction and there we found that self inductance is calculated as N phi by I. The coefficient of coupling is given as M by root L1 L2, where M is the mutual inductance and L1 and L2 are the self inductances of two different coils. So, based on these formulas, we have to solve the different problems. So, I will take four problems, uh, both from the two from series and two from the parallelly connected induct inductors. So, let us start with the problem. The first one is find the equivalent inductance of the network shown in figure. So, here we have three inductors which are mutually coupled and they are connected in series. Since if any current starts flowing from here, then the current through all these inductors that is same. L1 is 1 Henry, L2 is 2 Henry and L3 is 5 Henry, L1, L2, L3. Then we have mutual coupling between all these inductors. So, we can say L12 between first and second inductor is 0 0.5 Henry, between second and third it is 1 Henry, between third and first it is again 1 Henry. We have to find out the equivalent inductance. So, equivalent inductance will be L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus 2 times the mutual inductance between first and second plus, plus 2 times the mutual inductance between second and third plus 2 times the mutual inductance between third and first. Since all these inductors have same direction for induced EMF for self as well as mutually induced EMF. Current is entering the dotted node of first inductor, second inductor as well as the third inductor. So, all the mutually induced EMFs they will have the same direction as the self induced EMFs. So, L equivalent will be equal to L1 is 1, L2 is 2, L3 is 5, plus 2 times 0 0.5 plus 2 times m231 plus 2 times m31 is 1. So, L equivalent is 13 Henry. Now, moving on to second problem, find the equivalent inductance of the network shown in figure. So, here we have two inductors L1 15 Henry, L2 16 Henry, M is 8 Henry, they are connected in parallel. Now, if we have to find out the equivalent inductance, if the current over here is I, then it will get divided into two parts I1 and I2. 
I1 is entering the dotted node, I2 is leaving the dotted node. So, these are differentially coupled inductors which are connected in parallel. For that, we have the equivalent inductance formula as L1, L2 minus M square upon L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So, simply 15 into 16 minus 8 square upon 15 plus 16 plus 2 into 8 which gives a value of L equivalent as 3.745 Henry. It is quite easy directly formula based. The second question, third question is two coils with a coefficient of coupling 0.6 between them are connected in series. So, coefficient of coupling is 0.6. So, as to magnetize in same direction, same direction means the self induced EMF and mutually induced EMF they are in same direction and in second part they are connected in opposite direction. The total inductance in the same direction is 1.5 Henry it means L1 plus L2 plus 2M that is equal to 1.5 Henry. While in the opposite direction L1 plus L2 minus 2M it is 0.5 Henry. Find the self inductance of the coils. So, we have to find out the value of L1 and L2. Now, what can we do? From here, we can find out the value of M. If we subtract the second equation from the first, so we will have 4M equal to 1 and M will be equal to 0.25 Henry. Then we know that coefficient of coupling that is equal to m upon root L1 L2. It is given 0 0.6 m is 0 0.25 by root L1 L2. From here what we get that L1 into L2 is equal to 0 0.1736. So, this is one equation. Second equation we can get from here only we have L1 plus L2 plus 2M equal to 1.5, L1 plus L2 minus 2M equal to 0.5. Now, if we add these two equations together, then we have 2 times L1 plus L2 equal to 2 or L1 plus L2 equal to 1. So, this is our second equation. Now, solving these two equations, first and second, we will get the value of L1 and L2. You can find out this answer by your own and verify the answer. L1 is 0.22 Henry and L2 is 0.78 Henry. And moving on to the last problem, it is on the basis of parallel connection or mutually coupled inductors. Two inductors are connected in parallel. Their equivalent inductance when mutual inductance aids to the self inductance is 0. 6 uh, is 6 milli henry and it is point mil, uh, it is 2 milli henry when the mutual inductance opposes the self inductance so it means we have the differential connection as well as cumulative connections for cumulative connection the value of self inductance on uh, the equivalent inductance is 6 milli Henry. When the connection is differential connection, then its value is 2 milli Henry. If the ratio of the self inductances is 1.3, it means L1 by L2 is 1.3. The mutual inductance between the coils is 4 milli Henry. Find the self inductance. So, L1 upon L2 is given, M is given we have to calculate L1 and L2. Now, for cumulative connection, we can write the expression L1 L2 minus M square upon L1 plus L2 minus 2M. This one is 6 milli Henry. I am writing it in milli Henry only and we will get the value of L1 and L2 2 in milli Henry. L1 L2 minus m square upon l1 plus l2 minus 2 into 
4. Now I have not used the value over here, the value of m. We can even use that one. So it's 4 square. So what we have L1, L2 minus 16 that is equals to 6 times L1 plus L2 minus 8. This is our first equation. Now second equation we will get from the differential coupling where the expression for inductance is L1, L2 minus m square upon L1 plus L2 plus 2m. L differential is given, its value is 2 millihenry, L1, L2, mutual inductance is 4, 4 square upon L1 plus L2 plus 2 into 4. So, this will give us the second equation which will be 2 times L1 plus L2 plus 8 is equal to L1, L2 minus 16. So, here in first equation we have L1, L2 minus 16 here also. So, it means from first and second equation what we have 6 times L1 plus L2 minus 8 that is equals to 2 times L1 plus L2 plus 8. So, which will give us the value of L1 plus L2 as 16 and what else we have that L1 upon L2 is equals to 1.3. So, L1 is equals to 1.3 times L2. Let's substitute that value over here. So, 1.3 L2 plus L2 is equals to 16 and hence the value of L2 is 6.96 millihenry. Once we have the value of L2 then from here we can get the value of L1 as 16 minus 6.96 which is 9.04 millihenry. So, this is how we solve the problems based on the formulas developed in the previous two videos. You can check the that two videos in the link which is available in the description box of this video. If you consider the material available on this channel as useful to use, then please consider the subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching the video.